Hi everybody, I'm Vicki Gould, health coach and master herbalist. Today I'm going to show you how to make a muscle rub, a menthol muscle rub, and um, I'm actually going to double the recipe that I posted right before this video because I need a little bit more. What I've done here is I've already measured out 16 ounces of raw shea butter, and what I'm going to do, I kind of um, cut it up a little bit to make it easier to mix up with a stick blender. Um, a little bit of history on the muscle rub is that I created it when I first got diagnosed with osteoarthritis. At the time, I didn't know that I actually had Lyme disease, which was causing the arthritis. And uh, I wanted something natural. I wanted to make sure that whatever I was putting on my body that was soaking in um, was going to not affect my chemical sensitivities. So anyways, that's how this uh, muscle rub came to be. And it's actually pretty simple. You just uh, add a bunch of ingredients to the raw shea butter and use a stick blender. So again, this is 16 ounces of raw shea butter that I've already measured out. Um, I'm going to double the recipe. So I'm going to use actually two tablespoons of menthol crystals. And I am going to add two teaspoons of camphor. Now the kind of camphor I'm using is white camphor and uh, it actually smells delicious but I wouldn't suggest eating it. So I am actually going to use one teaspoon because I am doubling the recipe. Okay, the other two ingredients, this is so simple, is peppermint and I am going to use organic peppermint oil and we're going to put in 20 drops. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oop, a couple little extra drops, that'll be okay. And then I use um, 5 drops but 10 drops of rosemary in this recipe and that's just to give it a little antimicrobial properties if you know me, I like to always add rosemary to just about every recipe. That's really basically it. It's kind of all chunked up right now, so I'm going to use a stick blender and I'm just going to mix it all up. Okay, once you're done, it'll just take, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe of using the stick blender. It'll come out nice and creamy and then you can put them in your jars. Um, this is also a good rub uh, to use instead of Vicks Vapo Rub. You can rub it on your chest. It'll help um, with the breathing, with the menthol and stuff. I also have a friend who gets some of this from me every single year before running season, and he uses it on his knees and muscles before he takes a run every single day. Anyways, I hope uh, you like my recipe and that you'll find it useful. And check back with me again. I'll be making more recipes. Thank you.